Hello friends welcome back to our tetra series today we are going to discuss about trunk radio system operation so let's start a trunk radio system is a digital two way radio system that uses a digital control channel to automatically assign a frequency channel to group of users means automatically it is assigning the frequency not like our conventional channel we need to assign a frequency fix but here we are using as a automatically so let me show you here automatically so i will highlight the keywords here this is automatically so we will use automatically and in trunk radio system the user are not assigned to a fixed channel so we are not assigning the fixed channel in conventional we are assigning a fixed channel but here we are assigning a automatically not a fixed channel so let me move to another point channel are commonly common resources that is accessible to all the user as and needed as available basis means uh, channel are assigning the resources means the channel which is available we are assigning automatically whatever is available not like this uh, talk group should has this channel not like that means we are uh, having a pool of ch uh, channels whatever is free we are giving to that talk group next we will move to next point when a radio user initiate a call the system assign a available channel to that call eliminate the condition where uh, one channel is busy and another channel is inactive this point is saying that whenever radio user uh, start uh, making a uh, pressing the ppt switch that uh, system is going to uh, select the channel which is available freely and uh, it will uh, assign that channel to that talk group and they can make communication not like uh, one channel is assigned to this talk group and another channel is assigned to another talk group it is not like that it is whatever is available they are giving to that one so now let's move to another next slides we will go uh, go to the next slide let me move to another slide and next point when call is finished the channel is released and the made available for the other user so uh, in this one whenever uh, we uh, the system is assigning the channel to the talk group particular talk group when the uh, communication is finished then this uh, finish then channel is release and the make available for other user in the uh, trunk radio system whereas in conventional it is not release it is fixed for one channel uh, one talk group but here whenever call is uh, finish that uh, channel is released to the uh, resources back to the system and when new guy or new talk group is uh, requested for the call Uh, they will check which channel is available and they will assign to that one so trunk take the advantage of the fact that people do not talk on the radio continuously 24 hours so this is about the basic uh, trunk system uh, trunk one now we will move for the next slide now we, uh, we will go for the types of communication channel types of communication channel generally there are two types of communication channel used in tetra uh, radio system tetra radio system is having two types of channel that is one is control channel control channel another is a traffic channel control channel is used to control make the control like if one radio press ppt he is uh, press ppt this radio example so he is requesting the call to the base station here will be the controller we have so he is requesting the request for using one resources so this channel is responsible for that one and other channel we have traffic channel this traffic channel is nothing but this is two type we can say uh, one is voice channel and other is the data channel voice and data because in tetra we have both voice and data and uh, uh, this traffic channel is nothing but voice and data channel so Uh, we have two types of channel in tetra one is control channel who is responsible for assigning the uh, particular uh, available uh, channel to the talk group and another is the traffic channel which is responsible for voice and data so now we will move for the next slide let's go 
the now we will see the basic trunking system this is a basic trunking system about the tetra uh, here we have one controller this is nothing but a controller a controller is present in the bts example bts we have everyone know bts bts is like a base station which is transmitting a uh, signal and receiving the signal it is having controller we say site controller or any controller whatever uh, base station we use depending upon that base station that controller is having two channel just now we discuss we have one control cc channel that is control channel others are the traffic channel that is traffic is nothing but voice or data channel so this one we have so uh, in this basic trunking system uh, i am creating one scenario that uh, one uh, this radio is pressing the ppt here ppt switch ppt is the switch where we press to make the call initiating push to talk button we say ppt so when we uh, this user example pressing it is it will go to the control channel control channel is going to uh, give to the controller he will do the process he will check authentication everything and then if it is authorized to use the system then this radio will assign to whatever channel is available example this is channel 3 cha channel 2 channel 3 and this is the channel 4 so he will check which channel is available if this channel is already busy with this radio then he, uh, this radio will assign to another channel and when the call is finished this channel is available as a free so other talk group whenever request we can assign to this one so this is a generally basic about this one so let me uh, uh, move to the second slide but before that one i will repeat once again this is a controller this is a controller what we call as a tetra controller that is it is base station i will write bts here bts bts stands for this is base station and uh, we have this one as a control channel and this is a traffic channel and uh, control channel is uh, we name as uh, control cha channel 1 channel 2 channel 3 channel 4 and this is a one talk group and he press the ppt then it will go to here control channel and it will go to the controller and controller will assign whatever channel is available they will use this channel example and when this channel uh, this communication is finished for this talk group then they will uh, this uh, channel will be free after uh, when they finish the communication this channel become free this is the basic about how they uh, this is working so now let's we will move to the second slide about the conventional system so this is a conventional system opposite to the tetra system we will say in uh, tetra system we have trunk trunk is nothing but a trunking means uh, we have uh, many resources and whoever is free we will give that is trunking but this is conventional system conventional system is nothing but uh, assigning a fixed channel to fixed user like that conventional system is most basic radio system radio communication system and conventional name implies referring to a traditional method of frequency utilization means for, uh, old way of uh, giving the frequency more detail here we will see conventional radio operate on fixed channel see this is a fixed channel where in the trunk system uh, and the in the tetra trunk system we have automatically assigning but in the conventional this is a fix means uh, the fixed channel is assigned to a particular talk group and each user use permanently and permanently assign any fix frequency of set of frequency means uh, simple word uh, example one uh, uh, example we will have one person sitting here and one person uh, is sitting here the example this is the ticket counter for a train or anyone this so these are the different persons are here and uh, whoever is uh, having uh, whoever is free they will go to this or they will go to this they if no one is here it will go to this like this in tetra but in conventional system uh, we have one counter here for the ticket counter one uh, one and ticket control two and this queue this queue is uh, assigned for ticket control one only so this guy all should go to ticket, ticket counter one and this guy is uh, assigned for ticket counter two this is counter two so they will go to two even though no one is here and this is empty nothing is there this guy cannot go this guy need to go here that is conventional system 
in tetra they whoever is free they can go there this is the example for tetra and conventional just i am giving but in technical word we will say that frequency uh, that is channel fix and in the tetra uh, tr trunk system we will say it is automatically assigning and when the talk group if is finished it will release back and whenever new talk group uh, call initiated then it is at assigning whatever is free available that time we are assigning in trunk system but in the conventional system in this system conventional system it is fixed and permanently we are assigning the to the particular talk group this is the difference between the trunk and conventional system now let's we will move to the different uh, next slide we will discuss about some features about the tetra also so this is our uh, next slide and here we are going to discuss about the features features about tetra uh, this is the tetra feature tetra is not only one to one here we are saying tetra is not only one to one radio system it is it is main function is one to one to many means the main function of the tetra system is one to many means different talk group we have so many guys not like uh, radio our mobile phone calling from this mobile one one radio, mobile to another mobile we can make the private call in the tetra but the tetra is designed for group call group call not for uh, one to one call but we can use this feature is available in tetra here we in this point we are discussing that one only that is uh, tetra is not one to one communication uh, radio system the main function is one to many however some telephone types of call can be made means the private call or dmo we can use in tetra next point we will go tetra has many handy features like it has centralized call control so that the priority call can be put first means in this point i am saying tetra is a centralized call processing center means example if two talk group talk group i will write here talk group one i have talk group one and i have talk group two this is two talk group and this is important very important talk group and this is normal talk group and we have only one channel uh, example here we have channels and channel one two and three and one is control channel this is control channel and this channel is busy this channel is busy only one channel be available this both talk group is trying to initiate a call this uh, separate talk group this separate talk group so we need two channel to make this two talk group but we have only one channel is available but this is very important we put on high priority so tetra system will assign to them this channel so they can initiate the call and they can talk to each uh, each other and this will be in the queue when the channel is available then this channel this uh, talk group will assign to the channel so this is uh, like centralized call uh, call controller this point i am explaining just now that tetra has many features like centralized call control so the priority call can be put uh, first and other calls will be queued and it also have a direct ppt means push to talk feature in the radio and it the voice also encrypted and tetra also enable uh, privacy and confidential and built in encryption features these are the basic features of tetra so thank you friends thank you for uh, seeing our um, youtube channel uh, try to share with your friend uh, very soon i am going to bring more video about tetra system uh, so subscribe to our channel and like our video if you like if you have any comments please put the comments so uh, by seeing your comments i can make the video what you need okay see you bye